Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this very iconic classical tune by Johann Sebastian Bach called Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Okay? Especially, uh, I'm going to teach you the intro section that you hear, you, you, you heard of it. Once I give you a preview, you've heard of it. I give you a preview right now, it goes like this. Okay, so yeah, so the like the start of it, it really gives you that impression of like this entering of this very bad villainous character, but it's really awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and teach you how to play. It's not as difficult as you think it is. Okay, so here we go. Uh, first of all, uh, we're gonna break it up into four parts. Okay, so here we go. The first part, um, it's easier to put the two hands together because uh, there are both hands in this first part and also the second part and also the third part actually is played together like they're playing the same notes but just one octave apart okay so right hand starts on the A up here middle C C here for reference go up an octave to the C go up to the A that's where we start for the right hand and then the left hand is one octave lower and it's doing the exact same notes this is what we're doing it goes A G A and then it goes G F E D C sharp D and that's the first part one more time for this first part let's do it again so it goes like this A G A G, F, E, D, C sharp, D. Yeah, so make sure your um, hands are actually together as well. So none of this kind of like... That's just extreme, but you get the point where like, if it's not together, it won't sound as good. Okay, so make sure it's, uh, it's together, even when it's fast. Like that. And that's the first part, okay? Once you get the first part, let's move on to the second part. Second part... Right hand it goes down to the A here this time, so it's just the A just above middle C. The left hand one or two below, once again doing the exact same notes. Okay, it goes A G A. This time it changes down to E F down to C sharp D like that, and that's the second part. One more time for the second part, so it goes A G A down to E F C sharp D like that. Yeah, when it's faster, it just goes. That's that for the second part. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. Yeah, and then something awesome happens for the third part. The third part is actually exactly the same as the first part, but just played two octaves below. You know how the first part is played here? Okay. The third part is played two octaves below the first part. So not down here, but down here. Okay. So this goes A, G, A, and then once again, same thing, G, F, E, D, C sharp, D. And that is the third part, like that. So remember, third part, same as the first part, but just two octaves lower. Okay. So like this. A, G, A, G, F, E, D, C, like that. And that's the third part. Back to back, the three parts we've learned so far will be played like this, so you can see how we move. Okay. So it goes like this. Moving on to the fourth part, kind of like this goes, uh, uh, it's not like doing the same notes for both hands this time. It kind of like um, interweaves. It goes uh, left hand, octave D, up to the B flat, up to C sharp, E, up to G, B flat, and the right hand continues up to the C sharp, E, and then the, uh, let me see, the left hand, it has three notes. It goes D, G, A, and the right hand is D. Left hand continues to E and then F sharp like that. Okay, so yeah, normally this is like played on an organ, right? So there's like a lot of holding kind of notes happening. So you can use the uh, piano pedal to kind of give that same effect for this fourth part. So you can be like, like that, and then like that. Yeah, so it's kind of nice. It ends up with a tears to Picardy, 
where it just turns from a D minor tonality to a either uh, tonic major, okay? D, F, D major, okay? But anyway, yeah, one more time for this fourth part. Sounds pretty nice. So it goes D, B flat, C sharp, B, G. And that's the fourth part, pretty simple, right? So, back to back, the four parts will just be played like this, check it out, it just goes. kind of like uh, weight it, depending on how much pause you want between each part you can really like um, customize it to your own liking okay yeah like that okay really fun you can hold that then and, like you do those pause parts you'd be like stuff right yeah so hope you had fun with this iconic intro of Toccata and Fugue in D minor it's a really fun theme like it's you know very memorable okay but anyways yeah so I hope you enjoyed this go ahead check out all my other uh, piano tutorials on this channel I have quite a lot of other classical tune uh, that I teach as well so go ahead you can see if I have um, done it on the channel yet but anyway there's literally multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other piano videos that I've done on the channel for you to enjoy and learn from so check all those out as well check out my website as well if you want to learn piano from me bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below go ahead and check it out if you want to learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music play and sing and a lot of other cool stuff okay but anyway that's pretty much it enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.